So usually I do my vlogs on travel and go on wee adventures and check out what there's to do in different areas. But there's absolutely no need for me to go and travel when the biggest arts festival in the world is right on my doorstep in my hometown of Edinburgh. Edinburgh Festival Friends comes to Edinburgh every August and the whole city pretty much doubles in population. It started in 1947 by eight groups of drama people who wanted to come and put on shows for people and now it is literally exploded and it's one of the biggest festivals in the entire world. So Kat and I are going to have a wonder about Edinburgh, see what's going on and maybe even see some shows as well. We're just on the Royal Mile now. And this is where you go if you want to see all the street performers and uh, if you want to pick up your tickets, the box office is here. And uh, also, if you want to be inundated with loads of flyers, this is the place to be. There's constantly people who are handing out flyers for their shows and stuff. And uh, you might be wondering like, how I'm fine wandering about talking to a camera um, with so many people around me. But it's literally because I'm surrounded by people just as strange as I am. Thank you! If you're looking to get away from the busy Royal Mile and looking for somewhere to eat, I highly recommend Wings down one of the side streets. Not for vegans, it's just pretty much chicken wings and drinks as they like to brand themselves. But there's lots of video games and board games and stuff and it's actually incredible. In you come! and you can't stop to collect all these flyers from people. Just see what Kat's done here and wear a lanyard around your neck and then they automatically think you're part of a show and that you don't want to other flyers because you're promoting your own show. So we side note, it's probably not relevant at all but there's a Harry Potter shop here and I just thought you'd all like to have a wee look in it. Okay, so back to the fringe. Walking down past the Gilded Blue and I really could have used one of these lanyards. One of the downsides of this festival being in Scotland is obviously it was beautiful sunshine and now it's pouring with rain. Um, so if you come, make sure you bring a poncho or a, maybe not a brolly because they're really difficult when it's really crowded. But definitely a poncho and a rain jacket so you've got the hood. So we just got out of a band of man and literally our faces hurt so much from laughing. Like he is so funny and I have no idea how he's so incredibly quick at improvised rap. So that was just one day at the Fringe. You can fit so much more in than we did um, and it lasts the whole of August so get yourself involved. There's so much going on in the city. Absolutely get involved in the Edinburgh Festival Fringe 2018.